Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create a Visual Basic application okay, which will look like this okay, and uh, how to uh, write code to populate for example the CT names uh, into the uh, list of box and then okay, how to uh, write code that so when an item okay, uh, or when, an, uh, when a CD is selected and its corresponding uh, zip code, okay, all zip codes okay, will be displayed in the uh, label control over here. All right, let's get started. So let me start with a new project, and let me just call it uh, this the box demo, and then let me click OK. There we go. So we, so we have our form over here, and then uh, let me put the label here, okay, one label here, and let me call it a series. Okay, and then okay, another uh, label here, okay, will be called uh, zip codes. Okay, so in the text properties okay, of the properties window, okay, let me put zip code. Okay, all right, and then get okay, under the cities. Okay, will be the uh, list of box. Okay, so let me put this box over there. Okay, and then maybe reduce the width a little bit. Okay, all right. Okay, and then get okay, on the right hand side of the list box will be a label. Okay, and by default, uh, the label okay will be uh, default to. Uh, a single line, but then okay, uh, I would like to uh, display it in a multi-line format, okay, like this, okay, multi-line format. Okay. So let me uh, find the auto size property. There you go, and change it to false. Get okay, change to false, and also right next to it is the background color. So let me change to okay. Maybe light blue, okay. Sorry, light green, okay, light green, and then let me increase the size a little bit, okay, like this. And then in the text property of the label, let me remove or delete the uh, text value there. There you go. All right. And then uh, if you want to, okay, you can put an exit button over there, okay, if you want to, and change the uh, text properties value to exit. Right. Okay. So if I run the application, okay, this will be uh, what it looked like okay, for the uh, form. Okay, for the form. Yeah. But I hadn't add any uh, code. Okay. Yeah. To perform any of the functions yet. Okay. So let's do it. Okay. So let me double click the blank area in the form. So it will bring me to the. Uh, uh, form one load okay, uh, uh, sub procedure. Let me increase the font size a little bit. All right. Okay. So let me uh, do this one. Add uh, this a box. Okay. This the box one. The items that add. So this function allow me to add uh, whatever CD names I want to. Okay. So let me try add the first item. Okay. Park reach. Okay in there okay and then okay, let me move back to my data source again so this is the cd names i want to add into it i will take care of its corresponding zip code later okay so next cd name it will be the uh, barrington okay so let me do it again okay i'm not very good at typing so let me do a little bit copy and paste all right okay so let me put this one in Barring turn, okay, and I'm not so eager to write uh, additional code yet. So let me test my app right away. Okay, there you go. Okay, so you see, okay, using two lines of code, I can uh, add, populate, or add uh, the CD names in there. Okay, yeah. All right. Okay. Then uh, uh, I noticed that. Okay, I noticed that. Uh, the CD names okay, are not uh, arranged in a uh, solid order okay, or ascending order okay, like the one 
okay shown over here okay a b c g okay uh, it will be in uh, ascending order so uh, it's easy to get it fixed so just switch back to the design view and then okay in select the list box control and then there's a sorted property okay sorted property there you go set it to two okay set it to two all right and let's run it again okay and if I compare with the items I add into the control, you can see uh, they are in sorted order, even though, okay, even though, okay, when I add it in, it is not in sorted order at all. Okay, so uh, let me add one more item, okay, into it. Okay, so let me just again copy and paste. Okay, and then next one will be the CD, okay. Uh, Glen Eolin, okay, G L E N E L L Y N. All right, okay. So again, uh, when I add some, when I make something, change something, okay, I will always test my program to make sure that the way I think is the same as the computer. Pretty good. So now, okay, uh, I'm going to write code uh, to uh, show you when a CD is selected, then it's corresponding corresponding zip code or zip codes will be displayed okay so let me switch to design view and select the list box double click it so it will put you in the selected index change event okay so over here okay I'm going to declare okay uh, dim okay, city name yes okay string okay, value and it will get the value from list box okay ones that selected item and then we convert it to string value and then I can use the select okay, case statement okay, select uh, case okay. select case okay Oop, let me see let me try it again okay. select it should be this one Select case, yes, there you go. Okay, case, and then this should be the city name. Okay, city name, case, if it is equal to, let's say, our uh, park uh, rigid, okay. then they both three dot text okay, should be equal to, okay, let me double check it. This, this should be the correct syntax okay and then this will be the end select all right yeah okay so the zip code should be let me check on it okay park reach the zip code should be 60068 so let me move it back Six zero zero six eight. Okay, all right. So again, okay, uh, my personal style, okay, will be when I add something and then make some uh, changes. Okay, I will test the program right away. So let me run the app right away, and then let me select uh, Park Ridge. Okay, there you go. And then uh, the value is not the zip code is not displayed. Okay, over the center of the. Uh, a label okay control so no big deal just switch back uh, to the design view select the label okay select the label and then get okay, over the property alignment okay text alignment there you go uh, you can select uh, horizontal center or you can select horizontal center and vertical center as well so let me do that one and let me try it again okay let me try it again okay, okay park bridge okay all right correct okay so now i can do the same okay for uh, uh my remaining cities okay i'm not going to show you all the cities okay i will just maybe show one more okay so how about uh barrington okay so let me do the barrington here okay, okay so let me do the barrington so do the same here 
copy and paste to save time okay and this will be uh, uh, give me a minute it will be uh, Barrington okay and then the zip code will be 60010 okay. and one more 60011 uh, however okay the uh, two zip codes should be displayed in separate lines so I'm going to concatenate with the uh, new line character okay so control characters dot new line there you go and then one more the zip code will be 60011 there you go okay yeah because this is what he's looking for okay all this is what uh, shows okay, over the information over here okay 60010 all right okay then now let me okay, uh, run the app again okay and then do a quick test so uh park reach 60068 correct and then uh barrington should display two zip codes okay so all right okay, i think uh, they will be all okay they will be all i want to show to you okay uh, you can use the same logic okay, to uh, uh, complete uh, the project okay, for the rest of the series and its corresponding uh, zip code as well all right have fun okay thank you okay bye